But guys, before the video starts, make sure you're subscribed. 95.7 of you are not subscribed. It's free. And when you subscribe, turn on bell notifications to say when I upload a video. You guys, say we're back with another video. And today, we'll be doing another Trousy Transfer video. And today, I've added a new thing. My ratings of what I think it will be good for the team. So first, we have Yvi Pavlenka. He's a good goalkeeper. But I don't understand how this is going to work. It's probably links with these two as well. So Chelsea obviously want to refer to his goalkeeper. Which these three have been linked. Obviously, Wayne Hennessy. He's just Crystal Palace. I don't think he's very good anymore. He's 34. Pavlenka's obviously 29, but I don't know. He's a, he's a good goalkeeper. He's going to be near first team. And then Romero's been sat on the Manchester United bench for ages. So, I don't know about them three. I'd prefer Romero, I guess, because he's actually... Alright, but I'd rather keep Kepper, if I'd be honest. One of the main big ones now. Edmond taps over. Chelsea fans, I think this will happen. It's just, give it time. He came out and said he supported Chelsea as a kid. He's obviously one of my favourite centre-backs, which is just amazing. But just give it time. He's already said, fingers crossed he'll join Chelsea. Fingers crossed. Uh, so, just give it time. All the Arsenal fans will be crying, the United fans will be crying. Because this kid's going to be something special. And like I said, I might be biased to say he's a 9 because I actually, I've actually I've like known him for years. And he's only 22. So, yeah. But I think if Chelsea centre backs at the moment are really strong. But you can definitely get an over Zuma and like a push, maybe even Christiansen. Well, I know, you'll get over Christiansen, sorry. But it's just Rudiger and all that. But then we have someone else who's completely opposite. You can go to Arsenal, lad. Ben White. He's not very good. He, no, he's alright, but he's not nothing special. For 40 mil, we can pay li literally an extra 10 and get taps over. Nah, no way. Taps over is the best deal. Like, he, he's nothing, got nothing better than taps over. Unless you, okay, you can play midfield. That's it. And ben, the difference is Ben White isn't better than Zuma. He isn't better than... Rudiger, Christensen, Thiago Silva. Taps over is better on Christensen and has more potential than Thiago Silva. Well, yeah. So, I think, yeah, you can go to Arsenal. Ben White, I do like you, and I've always wanted you at Chelsea, but I'd rather have Taps over any day of the week, if it was my opinion. That's why I gave him a four. Now onto one, it's just continues happening. Mr. Declan Rice. I think it will happen. He's pushing for it so much. You've probably seen the thing where it's like me and Kante in midfield. It, 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 I think it will happen. Again, same with Tapsoba. Just give it time. The reason I put it quite low is because after watching Jorginho in every game of the Euros, he's been unreal. And we have Gilmore, who is amazing. He's on loan at the moment, obviously. We've got Conor Gallagher come back off loan. I think he'll go back on loan to another Premier League club, Championship club. So... Declan Ross for me does get in, but where? That's where I don't know, because Kovacic as well. But I think I would like him to see him at Chelsea. I think he'd be good at Chelsea, but I don't know if it'll be this year. He's definitely pushing for it, and he hasn't signed a new West Ham contract. So I think, matter of time, hopefully Declan Ross will be a Chelsea player again. Now, until another one of my favourite players, Chelsea has gone through my old career modes, I swear. Miralem Pjanic, and again, the same with Declan Ross. I'd love to see him at Chelsea. But where exactly is he going to fit in? Because he's 31 now. Kovacic has definitely got over... Kovacic, Kovacic is better than him. Jorginho is better than him. The only one to say is Billy Gilmore. So, and Billy Gilmore's like 20. So, it is annoying. I don't think it will happen. But Barcelona do need to sell players. No one else is really interested in them. Except Roma. And he's always played for Roma. So... Could go link up with Jose Mourinho. It would be good to see that. Obviously, really good at Roma he was. But yeah, I think that it won't happen. I don't think um, 30 mil was the asking price. Obviously, Barcelona in a massive debt, and there's another big Barcelona player in the video. Next up, Eduardo Camavinga. Again, it's unlikely it's going to happen. I haven't. I can't find anything like obviously if they're a Chelsea fan, like Tap Sober, or um, when Bakayoko joined, he was a Chelsea fan. I can't find anything like that for Eduardo, Cam Eduardo Camavinga. I think he's United, obviously, the first team and Real Madrid. So, United want it more. But Real Madrid, obviously, they just want everyone. Again, 30 mil because his contract expires next year. 
not bad. I'd love to see him at Chelsea again, but I wouldn't play him straight away. I'd literally loan. I think Billy Gilmore is definitely... If Billy Gilmore can prove himself at Norwich, then I'd rather have Billy Gilmore at Camavinga. Don't know why, it's an unpopular opinion. But now we have someone I would like to see at Chelsea. And I'm, I'm going to get... Again, I'm going to be biased. I, I've... Like, Sal, same as Tapsober, I've known him for years. Literally, before he was even famous. Same as Tapsober, Chilwell, Mount. But for Sal, I would like to see him at Chelsea. 60 mil, Atletico asking. He wants to leave Atletico. You know, it's been a years. But I'd love to see him in Chelsea. And obviously, he's very versatile. Left back, right back, right mid, left mid, centre mid, CDM, Cam. Literally, you play, man can play anywhere. So, he's very versatile. I'd say he's better on Kovacic. Maybe same level as Jorginho. And that's all I'd say. So, it would be good to see him at Chelsea. Very good player, very versatile. Now, straight on to the attackers now. We've got the strikers. Obviously, Chelsea want to sign a striker. We have Dominic Calvert-Lewin. I don't, I don't really want to see him at Chelsea. In my opinion, he's got the same level as Tammy Abraham. Literally, same attributes: tall, strong, fast. He's, I don't know what else to say. So I don't think it'll happen anyway. I think Everton will try to keep hold of him as much as they can, but it's obviously certain that Chelsea want to bring in a striker. So. I'd rather keep Abraham over him. Don't spend... Might as well just keep Abraham. Or Giroud. Obviously, Giroud's not really like Calvert-Lewin, but Tammy Abraham literally is. So, just literally, just keep Tammy. He's the same quality. He's got the same, same attributes. And we haven't got to buy anyone. So, let's have a see. I guess that's like a plan D. And then, on to Griezmann. Obviously, a story came out today that Barcelona offered Griezmann to Chelsea. But there is, they've also offered him to Manchester United apparently, and Manchester United just want to go for it this year apparently. Um, I can't really find anything else. It's obviously a big topic at the moment. Barcelona are in debt and over. They have to pay about forty million for him, forty to fifty million. Again, I'll give it. A, you know, I was thinking about this. I'll take him, but. I don't know if I would take him. But he would be very good for a season. But I don't think it would happen. I think it's just... It's nothing like Sky Sports announcing it at the moment. Off recording. It's not Sky Sports or anything. Not for Fabrizio Romano. So, again... We'll wait to see more. And then I'll make a better verdict. Now on to what I don't want to see happen. Danny Ings. He, Danny Abraham is double the player of him. I don't care if he can score two more more goals in the last two seasons. Abraham's taller, faster, stronger. Why would you sign Danny Ings? He's younger. Like, Danny Ings is 28. Abraham's like 23, 24. I don't understand this one. Uh, I don't think it'll happen. Again, I think it's just the media trying to find strikers. Because he wants to leave Scum. Southampton, sorry. He wants to leave, so... But this one is a striker I want to see. Obviously, my rating, I'm going to give it a 10. He has come out and said he wants to join Chelsea. He thinks he's going to join Chelsea. And his agent has said that he thinks he's going to join Chelsea. And his dad thinks he's going to join Chelsea. The only thing holding this deal back is Borussia Dortmund. And his agent literally said today, the only thing holding it back is Dortmund. Because... They haven't got a replacement. They haven't got a replacement in line. Um, because obviously they're like young players. They have a really good young strikers coming through at the moment. And obviously, it's literally nothing to do with Chelsea. Chelsea will pay 150 mil for him. They want to because I don't. I think mean in my head, yeah, Dortmund. Why don't they accept it? Because next year they get 70 million for him. 70 mil. This year they get 150. Why didn't just accept the deal? Get literally double the money. So, yeah, so just get double the money. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you want more, like, subscribe.